The investigation into possible impeachment to the West Virginia Supreme Court going full speed ahead. The legislature met in a special session at the Capitol today, hoping to get to the bottom of a court spending mess and whether any justices should actually be removed from office. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. The bell tolls for the West Virginia Supreme Court. The House of Delegates unanimously approving an impeachment investigation mostly centered on suspended and indicted Justice Alan Loffrey and concerns about excessive and improper expenditures by the high court. It is your money. We must be held accountable for that. And in doing so, we must hold the departments of the state accountable for how they spend money. It's clear that uh, Justice Loffrey is the one that uh, most of the attention has been uh, applied to, but I think you're going to see other individuals that uh, may. Uh, have uh, things to answer for as well. An effort to put an August 14th deadline on the impeachment probe was defeated. If it's done before then, voters could choose a new justice in November. If the investigation goes past that date, Governor Justice appoints for any court vacancies. Because I'm concerned that uh, if we delay this, it will, it will take away the opportunity for the people to make a decision as to who represents them on the Supreme Court. You know, I'm an assistant prosecutor. I look at it as, you know, we don't put artificial timelines on investigations in criminal matters and that's kind of what we're looking at here so I think that this whole process should be driven by the time that is needed to put all of the evidence together. House Speaker Tim Armstead, who may run for the Supreme Court, removed himself from leading the House in this issue. Speaker Pro Tem John Overington will oversee the House probe. It should be noted the resolution doesn't just apply to suspended Justice Alan Lawfrey. It includes all five justices for possible investigations and sanctions by the legislature. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Special the session. special session is now over, but members of the House and Senate Judiciary Committees will be called back to the Capitol periodically as the investigation moves forward.